you ever heard about ANA profile test? This is a special test which we perform in the lab for finding out the particular antibody that have been made or directed to your nuclear antigens of cells and tissues. Anti-nuclear antibody ANA profile test is a medical diagnostic test used to detect the presence of antibodies that target the nucleus of cells in the body. These antibodies are often associated with autoimmune diseases, where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own cells and tissues. And that's when an autoimmune disorder sets in. There are more than 80 autoimmune disorders known among which the most common ones are rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, autoimmune thyroiditis, multiple sclerosis, SLAIL, scleroderma, Addison disease, etc. An autoimmune disorder may affect one or more organ or tissue types. Areas often affected by autoimmune disorders include red blood cells and blood vessels, pancreas and thyroid gland, muscles, connective tissue and joints. What can be the symptoms of these disorders? Symptoms will vary based on the type and location of the faulty immune response. Common symptoms include joint pain, fatigue, swollen glands, skin problems, abdominal pain, fever, etc. So in order to investigate all these kinds of symptoms, we do ANA profile testing to correctly identify those antibody that your body is making in response to nuclear as well as cytoplasmic antigens. Here we use Euromoon kits where membrane chips printed with individual lines of purified, biochemically characterized antigens. Each group of antigens is coded onto a separate membrane chip, providing optimal efficiency of antibody detection for each antigen. So at first we dispense 1,500 microliter of sample buffer into the test strip which are already loaded into the shaker. Leave it for five minutes. Now our next step would be preparation of wash buffer and 10x concentrate as you can see here. Meanwhile, we are performing on a profile of three samples, so I am going to dilute three milliliter of wash buffer with 27 milliliters of distilled water to make desired concentration. And then we come to our sample diluting step. We dilute the sample in one is to 101 dilution by pipetting 15 microliter of serum sample into 1500 microliter of sample buffer. Here we use sample buffer for dilution. After diluting the sample, we pipette out the previously dispensed sample buffer from the test strip tray. Now we charged our diluted sample into the test strips and leave it for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we again dispensed out the diluted sample from the tray. Now here comes our washing steps. We wash the, the test strips with 1500 microliter of wash buffer for three times in five minutes intervals. After subsequent washing, we will allow the test strips to react with conjugate. This conjugate also we need to prepare in 10x concentrate as wash buffer but here we pipette on 150 microliter enzyme conjugate in 1,350 microliter of distilled water as per manual. 
we dispense the diluted enzyme conjugate into test strips and leave it for 30 minutes. After that again, we do three times washing with our wash buffer. Now, our important steps commence, which is applying substrate or stop solution. This substrate is responsible for appearance of bands on test strips if antibody is present. So we dispense 1500 microliter of substrate into test strips and leave it for 10 minutes only. After 10 minutes, we discard the substrate off the tray and continue washing with distilled water this time. So far you have analyzed that it's the process of sandwich ELISA. We will dry the test strips for about 15 minutes. For further analysis of bands, we paste it on a green colored paper and load it on a scanner. We scan the test strips from the Euroimmune software where it scans the bands and based on its intensity, we will get to know how far it's positive. Since it's a qualitative analysis, we will not be knowing the exact titer, but we, it does provide the qualitative titer as 1 plus, 2 plus, and 3 plus for the extreme positivity. It will provide the antibody titer corresponding to these 15 nuclear antigens like you can see here in this report.